And now, oh wow. Wow, this is the thing I was talking. Oh my goodness, it did it perfectly. With that red car coming so fast from back of us, the car did that perfectly. Oh my goodness. Hello everyone, we are back with another full self-driving video version 12.5.4 and we are in New York, Long Island. So we're gonna see how the car handles this situation in New York. So we're gonna test some unprotected left and we're gonna do a um, tricky road where the car always makes mistake. It always changes the lane at the very last moment and sometimes it's failed to stop in the stop sign and sometimes it completely ignores that now navigation and takes us to a different route uh, so we're gonna test that out and we'll see how the car handles this uh, full self-driving drive so let's find out right guys also guys if you guys are new in this channel make sure you hit the subscribe button because this is the only free way you can support me as a content creator so we'll make a right turn on this stop sign uh, we have to creep it is creeping pretty nice stop there okay good uh, so there are a few traffics in our left side so when it will you know like clear the car will definitely proceed we have a big gap on the left side and the car decided to go very good very good I like that I like that it doesn't it didn't stop for that other white car which is uh, to another lane so we make that right turn while there is another car to a different lane very good job as a human being if i see that the car is not blinking its indicator so i'll definitely just go and make that right turn but definitely some people's concern is if the car just changed the lane and you're also making a right turn that will be a problem i completely get it but in this situation the car did the right thing which i really appreciate so we are doing we're going now if you see the navigation here is a stop sign it is a kind of you need to change the lane to left side and then you need to change or merge to another left lane to go into this lane but our car is still not changing the lane which i don't like because we're very close and there is a car behind us so we're gonna find out how the car do things here it is going very slow behind that bus and at the very last moment probably i had to take over because the car will probably try to now it is trying you see now it is trying to switch the lane why would you do that that honda accord just changed the lane now it failed completely now it is gonna reroute us to to a different road is rerouting us currently if you saw the navigation is just changed i don't like it like why would you do that like you can just easily you had enough gap you could just change the lane get into that merging lane and merge into that road but unfortunately the car failed to do that i noticed that in version 12.3.6 like 80% of the time the car can do this uh, maneuver in this exact road but version 12.5.2.1 or even 12.5.4 this version the car always failed to navigate in this exact road which I don't like <sighs> we have to deal with this kind of situation in beta software definitely uh, it is not a major mistake the car didn't make any mistake that can harm someone or it is doing a, a kind of accident situation not like that it is just rerouting us to a different road and taking us there probably to increase the time like 30 second or one minute but still as a human being if anyone is driving they wants to go on certain road right they want to just they don't want to just you know like route us with different routes so we're gonna make a left turn this is always stop sign and then immediately we're gonna make a right turn no problem with that after making that right turn I'm gonna go and uh, watch that narrow road how the car handles on that narrow road so we're we're gonna make a left here this is the thing i want to do because in this exact version the car is stuck twice in this exact road because this road is kind of tricky and very narrow 
and the car is doing it this time if you can notice but it is very slow like in version 12.3.6 the car makes this left turn very nicely but sometimes it is very close to the fence but this version the car is cautious it comes slow it makes that left turn slowly but it is not very close to the fence which i really appreciate because i don't want to hit anything just going fast i can go slow i can measure the distance between the fence and the car and then i can take decisions so we're gonna see we're gonna make a right turn here as you can see that truck is gonna make a left turn and our car is making a right turn pretty good there it was very narrow but the car made it happen like it doesn't look like it's a narrow right turn because there is a truck in front of us and there is also we have to make a right turn and there is cars but the car make it happen so let's see how the car handles this stop sign as you can see it is marking on the gps that there are like two stop signs there is not it is just one stop sign we have to stop here and look on our left side because there are gonna car is gonna come from this way but our car is proceeding there is a white car we'll see how the car merge here pretty good job very very good very very good job there so we're gonna see how the car do some unprotected left right now so we are gonna navigate there as i always do in this exact road some unprotected left turn this left turn unprotected left turn is also a tricky left turn because immediately you have to make a right turn and immediately you have to make a u-turn to make this uh, unprotected left because when we come out from this road there is no exact cutout for just making this unprotected left so you have to make a right and make a u-turn so we're gonna find out how the car do things here so let's see i'm gonna just change the gps and we're gonna see right now how the car handles this situation um not very happy with the first performance where the car missed that navigation on that exact road where we always do and uh, always do that route we're gonna make a left here this is very narrow oh my god the car is having some hard time doing this like the steering wheel if you see that it is just adjusting the steering wheel here and there but we're gonna go and look uh, there is definitely a bump uh, so we'll see how the car and the camera handles this okay so now is the time so we are gonna stop in this stop sign we have to look on our left side and we have to definitely look on our right side too because we have to make a U-turn kind of unprotected left. There is no other car on our right side, but this is the only car we have to deal. And now, oh wow. Wow, this is the thing I was talking. Oh my goodness, it did it perfectly. With that red car coming so fast from back of us, the car did that perfectly oh my goodness so we're gonna do that exact route one more time but it is absolutely insane how the car did it i was very nervous i one point i pressed that acceleration to tell the car go fast because that red car from our backside was coming so fast and i was nervous because i don't want to make him break hard and i don't want to make him you know like feel bad that i'm making a right turn and immediately going to that lane so now we need to change the lane now it is doing it if you see that camera so it is doing that lane change and we need to change another lane like that red car is gonna do probably no it didn't do it but our car this time is doing it very good a stop sign you need to stop okay now at the very last moment it decided to break very good job there so now we're going very good there is no other car on our right side we're gonna go on that exact route again one more time so let's see how the car handles things here so probably is gonna miss this route but uh, don't hesitate to reroute very good very good there is not a lot of like you know a steering wheel jump off here and there but it is very good the car is handling everything nicely and smoothly so as you can see the car is gonna make a right turn and there's a bush so the car make a wide right turn because it need to see the other side 
off the road because if there is any parked car or not so we're gonna make a ri another ride on this stop sign and we have to creep so let's find out how the car handles this situation we're gonna creep a little bit definitely to look on our left side there is no other car there is no other car on our right side too very good this is a very suburb area not that much of traffic and stuff like that only that exact road has some traffic where car passes very fast and we need to make decision very wisely and fast so also this video is sponsored by our fsd bumper beta magnet okay it breaks wow it was almost and now it now it just breaks like interesting that person with the hand car somehow saw that and make that it was completely stuck in the middle of a road and what if it's a very busy road and people are coming very fast? I don't like the idea. It was doing everything nicely other than that one navigation failure. But that situation is also bad. Like you're proceeding on that stop sign. And then when you see that white car is coming from our left side, it just decided to break. But where you are, you are in the middle of that road where you break. But what you can do is just go a little fast and make that left turn, right? Because there is like no other car on our right side. So we're going to make a right turn here. As you can see, our car is slowing down. And uh, let's see. Our car is making that happen. Very nice job. So as I was saying, that one moment, like why you're going to stop in the middle of a road? Um, I, it doesn't make any sense to me because when you're doing it, it means like unless like Normally like you are confused what you're gonna do But you know that white car is coming slow. There is no other car on our right side. You can just make that left turn Fast a little fast, you know, like a little quickly so that the car can make it So a little bit of you know decision making errors here and there so we're gonna make again another unprotected left as you can see that car is making it so let's see very good job very very good so it avoided those, those uh part car also those human very nice right guys so we're gonna make another unprotected left and we're gonna see how the car does things here so we're gonna make uh immediate right and immediate u-turn so let's see how the truck goes there i prefer the like this first time the car will go there and make that u-turn so let's see there are a few other cars from our left side so let's see after this car we should proceed okay this time this time it failed again i don't know similar situation but not the same result okay now it is going to the meridian wow you did did it the u-turn perfectly very very good i'm impressed guys i'm really really impressed with this performance i know there is that car was coming very fast but our car made that happen perfectly like literally perfectly so we're gonna we're gonna change the destination one more time and we're gonna see how the car handles this u-turn this will be a little tricky u-turn we're gonna find out and it is making it right it is making it little slow definitely little slow but it is making it so i'm very impressed it could just easily go because there is no other car in our backside on the left side and it could easily go into that left turn lane and make that u-turn but it decided to go a little far and there was a car coming and there is another car in our back that moment so it was deciding what i'm gonna do so it make that u-turn so fast very impressive very new behavior i have to say so guys you know if you want to support me just subscribe that button that's absolutely free and then what you can do is order our fsd bumper magnet from amazon and uh, your name will be in the video every single time every single video i release so please support me you can just get that link in the description and you can purchase that fsd beta bumper magnet thank you for watching guys i really appreciate your love and support and have a wonderful wonderful day